So shortly before Sam and I met, I had written a list of ideal characteristics to find in a partner. Number one, be interested in music. Number two, make me laugh. Number three, have his own opinions and not just agree with everything I say. Number four, must like animals, especially dogs. Number five, have lots of siblings or understand large family dynamics. So if anyone's seen that guy, can you let me know? <laughs> From the moment that I spoke to Sam, he was so warm and easy to talk to, and that feeling stayed with me, and I knew right then you were gonna become one of my favorite people to hang out with. Forgive me if this sounds a little soppy, but if I could choose anyone to get accidentally pregnant with, I'm glad it was me. <laughs> Mum and Dad, I can't really say enough about what you've done for us um, over the years. If some of you don't know, Mum prepared all of the flowers today and has worked non-stop for two days. Mum, honestly, everything looks beautiful. Um, we're very lucky and just for being my mum. Just thank you so much, Mum. Love you. Mum has this open door policy that she always makes very clear to all of us, which is if we ever need it, there's always a room for us and an unquestioning ear at her house. I'm not sure she realised just how much her children would take her up on that over the years. <laughs> if there's one thing that I would like to take into my own parenting, it would be for my own children to feel the same level of support that I've always felt from my mum. My darling Chloe. She's a successful blogger and blogger and very proud mother of Arlo, Rory and Otto. Chloe manages to juggle her career with the needs of her gorgeous children and fairly frequently doing this on her own while Sam is working abroad. She's amazing, a proper grown-up and I couldn't be more proud of her. Next thank you to my dad who's flown all the way over from Thailand to be here today. Um, it means a lot to be able to share this day with you and we're so happy that you're here. A long time ago Hilary and I got married in Jamaica and we chose our location as a jungle waterfall. And it's, it's nice to see today that the tradition has carried on and you're in this incredible, lovely, sunny weather in, in dear old Blighty. Dad, I gave up a long time ago in kind of fighting the inevitable transition into becoming you. <laughs> Chloe, I would ask for your understanding because the dragon panto phase of my life, <laughs> it's not going to be very pretty. There are three very special people I also need to thank. Small people but massive legends. Otto, Rory and Arlo. The boys. One of the most special things about having a wedding at this stage in life is being able to experience it with you guys by our side. Mama and Dada are very proud of you. We are very, very lucky to have you in our lives. You bring us so much happiness, so much pride, and just thank you for being the awesome guys you are. Anyway, I've got to say that Sam was the last person uh, I was expecting to tell me that he was going to have a child. But honestly, I've been amazed by how the two of them have grown and developed as a family. And if I could be anywhere near as good a parent as Sam and Chloe, then I'll be a happy man. Now, Chloe, my actual wife, which feels very, very good to say properly at last. <laughs> kind, caring, compassionate, funny, obviously a wonderful mother. That moment when you kind of walk around the corner, I was just struck by how lucky I am to be sharing this moment with you. I promise to be your friend, your greatest supporter and your partner in parenting. I promise to always be honest and to shoulder our challenges together. <laughs> I promise to always put our family's happiness first as my first priority. You are my best friend and I'm honoured to 
be side by side with you for the rest of our lives. I promise to always be your bumble, <laughs> to love and respect you, to only nag you on Fridays, <laughs> and to always be by your side. Sam, because he makes me laugh. Sam, you are still the best little brother I always have. Chris, my big bro, the best of best men, as much as anyone. You kind of made me who I am today. You taught me to be kind, to be caring, to be patient. Really, really patient. <laughs> You were the best big brother. You always let me win at Super Nintendo. You give the best cuddles. You were my partner in mischief when we were little. Um, and thank you for a great stag do and all the supporting cast kind of behind the scenes for that as well. I've been told we had a great time, so cheers, Chris. In Chloe, Sam has found his perfect match. I actually never thought I could meet anyone more laid back than Sam until I met Chloe. To this day, both of you together as a couple inspire me. I have never met a more hardworking, thoughtful, intelligent couple that also love to have a laugh. I think everyone would agree with me that you are both bloody great parents, bringing up some of the most smart, funny and insightful under 10 year olds I've ever, ever met. Sam and Chloe, Rob and I feel so lucky to have you down the road for whenever we want a glass or bottle of wine. And I'm really excited for you both for this next step in your journey. I'm in awe and simply couldn't be more proud of them. They are perfect together. I love you loads. And I know that you'll have a wonderful life together, whatever challenges the future may bring. I feel so lucky to have found friendship and happiness with you. Our life over the past few years with you and our children has made me happier than ever. Year on year that happiness just seems to be increasing. I think we found a kind of balance in our life where we can take a step back and you realise that actually hopefully less than half of our kind of book has been written and I'm just left overwhelmingly excited about living that life with you and writing those stories together.